Welcome everybody to Warfare Strategies. This is your host, Prophetess Kimberly Herberts, and I am the founder of Rejoice Essential Magazines, also a Christian author. And today I have a right now word for you guys. A lot of people are going through something. Maybe the enemy has been trying to attack you and just make your life just chaotic. You're probably not happy. You believe in God for so much. Well, I have a, a prayer uh, strategy I would love to give you guys today. Amen. So just go ahead and grab you a sheet of paper and a pen, you know, so you can take notes. Amen. And then we're going to pray together. And I know that God is going to move. So before I get into this teaching, I just want to show you guys my books. I have an event coming up. I want to invite you guys to September the 24th, right here in Colorado Springs. We are having our first prophetic miracle call. That's right. Our first prophetic miracle call. That's right here in Colorado Springs. So you can go to my website at KimberlyHargraves.com to get more information. I would love to meet you guys and connect with you guys. I know that God is going to move. The prophetics are going to be accurate. Healing is going to take place and deliverance. So I'm excited. So I want to show you guys my books before I get into this teaching. This book is Daily Prayers That Bring Changes. You know, so much going on. We need to pray about everything. There's so much hate crimes and it's like the enemy is busy right now and trying to cause division. We need to pray without ceasing. So this book is like over like 50 prayers in it to pray for various aspects of everything around us. So the next book I want to show you guys is uh, Prayers That Demolish Demonic Strongholds. You know, we... People of God, we don't need to be bound anymore. You know, so this book gives you a heads up on the enemy, on how he tried to attack us in various areas of our lives. So the next book I want to give you guys is Work Smarter, Not Harder, a book of declarations for the workforce. That's right. I'm telling you, you can apply this book, these decrees and the uh, prophetic uh, declarations to various areas of your life. The next book I want to show you guys is In Right Standing. In right standing, a daily devotional. You know, righteousness is right. Holiness is still right. Amen. And this book will take you into another uh, level as far as intimacy-wise with the Holy Spirit. Amen. So the next book I want to show you guys is my first book, Overcoming Difficult Life Experiences with Scriptures and Prayers. I'm telling you, if you're in an impossible situation, this book is for you because it gives various scenarios of how it may look impossible, but how God can bring you up out of some things. Amen. So the next book I want to show you guys is my new book, Set the Captives Free, a book of deliverance. I open up, I share my testimony of how God delivered me from being a stripper and, you know, put a call in my life and call me to be his prophet. So I share that, guy, I share that with you in this, this book. And it's raw and it's uncut and it uh, covers various areas of uh, what, what people struggle, what they go through. The next book I want to show you guys is Obedience is Key. I'm telling you, when we obey God, the blessings follow. When we obey God, the blessings follow. Amen. So this is a must for every intercessor. Prayers that break the yoke of the enemy. Prayers that break the yoke of the enemy. It is a topical book. All you got to do is go to the area that you're struggling with and decree and declare the prophetic declarations in this book. All right, so the last book before we get into our awesome, amazing teaching today is called Overcoming Difficult Life Experiences. You know, a guide to faith. You know, make a decision today. Invest in yourself spiritually, you know, and decide I will no longer fall apart. I will no longer be depressed one day and happy the next day and just be unstable in my emotions. No, take a faith today. Take, take a leap of faith today. Invest in these books because these books are life changing. I'm telling you, people of God, you don't need to be run in life by negative emotions. That's not the will of God for us. God wants us to be happy and joyful. Amen. Yeah, sometimes we got to suffer. We got to go through some things. But it's better to suffer for doing right than for doing evil. Amen. And it's, I'm telling you, when you invest in yourself spiritually, you will see a difference. Amen. People go out there and they spend lots of money on like worldly things, you know, going to concerts, getting their hair done, you know, buying all kind of electronics. But you don't invest in yourself spiritually. All right. So we're going to get into this word today. So th today's word is striking the enemy with blindness striking the enemy with blindness now we have a real life enemy of our soul 
I, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a little story of how Apostle Paul, Saul, John, and Mark, they went to go preach in Cyprus or Patheos. It was like a little island. And Patheos, um, you know, it, uh, the, this city, you know, they had a lot of false prophets. And they ran into false prophets or sorcerer there on this island. So Pathos, that's where they went. It's the it's the capital of the city or the island, Cyprus. Amen. So we're going to be reading from. Let me pull this up. For today we're going to be reading from Acts eleven. Excuse me, Acts thirteen. Acts thirteen eleven. So I'm going to pull that up, and that, that this is the scripture foundation. Um, I'm going. I'm just going to teach prophetically, and then we're going to read some books, read some de decrees out of my other book. Amen. So Acts thirteen eleven. So if you have that, I want you to write that down. So Paul, he ran into this false prophet, and the false prophet was trying to block him from, you know, getting a word to the governor. So he prayed that God would strike him with blindness. So. In Acts chapter 13, we see like two false prophets. You see Bar, Jesus. You know, he was a false prophet. Then we see another one called uh, Elamus. Elamus, right? Hallelujah. And and this prophet, false prophet, he was a sorcerer or a magician. Um, and he was trying to stop the governor from hearing the gospel. So this is what Paul said. This is what Paul said in Acts 13, uh, verses 11. He says, now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind. I've seen the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness, and he went about seeking some to lead him by hand. This is powerful. So I prophesy right now in the name of Jesus Christ that all of our spiritual enemies could be struck with blindness in Jesus' name. They're going to be struck with blindness in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm telling you, like our words are powerful our decrees are powerful paul just spoke a word underneath the the anointing of the holy spirit and and his enemies were struck with blindness you know how powerful that is that is powerful amen so i'm here to prophesy that every demonic force that's trying to come against us and cause trouble and chaos in the life they're getting ready to be striked by blindness in jesus name they're, they're going to be confused and i'm telling you that 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 is so strategic when you're struck by blindness imagine being blind close your eyes and try to walk around your room or your house a little bit you're not going to be able to see you're probably going to be bumping into things you know we know that the enemy is always watching us and try to scheme against us but if he's struck by blindness my god that is powerful. You know, he's not going to be able to cause the trouble that he's causing in our lives anymore. In Jesus' name. So, um, that was the word for the day. I want you to take this word. Strike with blindness. Take this thing back into your prayer closet. Amen. Take this word back into your prayer closet. And praise back unto God. We know we need to be ruthless in our prayers. We need to be offensive. You know, that means attacking the enemy before he attacks us. You know, a lot of people want to be on the defense and uh, only attack the enemy when the enemy comes at them. But sometimes you got to be bold. You know, the word says the righteous are as bold as the line of Judah. You got to be bold and go back and get your stuff back. Amen. So we're going to be uh, reading out of this book, Prayers That Break the Yoke of the Enemy. Um this is a this is a, a a must i'm telling you let me find some declarations where we can pray i'm a touch and agree and i know god is going to move hallelujah so we're going to read declarations for help help you know so i'm going to be reading off of 212 out of this book 212 out of this book and a lot of people need help you know you're in a situation right now you need god to move you need a god to do right now 911 on your situation amen so it says i will fear not for you are with me come on you know god has not given us a spirit of fear but a spirit of power love and a sound mind he says do not be dismayed you know because god he, he is our god you know he will strengthen us he will help us he will uphold us with his righteous right hand god god is moving even now you know whatever the thing is keeping you scared maybe you're scared of being alone scared of loss i'm telling you god has not given you a spirit of fear 
Hallelujah. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be, you know, scared because God is with you. God is for you. He's going to lead you. I'm telling you, he's going to uphold you with his righteous right hand. He is helping us even now. You know, the Lord will fight for us. We just need to be silent. We just need to be still. We need to hold our peace. I'm telling you, God is righting every wrong right now. He is vindicating right now. He is righting every wrong right now. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be let, I mean, disappointed. Trust in God with everything you have within you. I'm telling you, you will not be put to shame. If you trust in God, I'm telling you, it don't even make sense half the time. Cut your mind off. And begin to believe God again and begin to give God praise and believe that thing when you pray that thing out and believe that God is going to fulfill everything he has spoken to you and watch God move. Watch God move. Amen. So I prophesy that we will not throw away our confidence. You know, it has great reward. We need to have confidence in God. We need to have confidence in the word of God. We need to have confidence in the word of God because God is so faithful. God is so faithful. He will not disappoint you. He will not. I'm telling you. He's going to come through for you. Matter of fact, some of y'all are in, in a situation right now. You're in a situation where God is obligated to provide for you. God is obligated to show himself strong in your situation. Amen. Because, you know, you depend on God. It's something where you don't depend on nobody else except for God. So, oh my God, I feel the anointing on this word. It's something when you don't depend on nobody else except for God. And God has to come through. God has to come through. Amen. That is powerful. Amen. So we're going to trust in the Lord with all our heart, not some of our heart. No, we're going to trust in the Lord. Some people trust in like chariots and horses. You know what the word says. But we're going to trust in the Lord with all our heart. And we're not going to lean on our own understanding. We're not going to try to figure this out. I'm telling you because we serve a supernatural God. We serve a supernatural God. And he is so faithful. He, uh, If you don't get anything from this broadcast, know that God is faithful. He is faithful. We're going to trust in the Lord with all our heart and not lean on our own understanding. We're going to cut our minds off and put on the mind of Christ today. And in all our ways, we're going to acknowledge him. We're going to go to God first in prayer and say, God, is this what you want me to do, God? God, is this the way you want us to go, God, today? And he's going to straight our path. He's going to direct us, guide us, amen, and order our footsteps. So if we ask anything in God's name, in Jesus Christ's name, he will do it. He will do it. He's going to come through. He's so faithful. He is so faithful. So we lift up our eyes to the hills, which our help comes from. Amen. I'm telling you, God is concerned about us. He's concerned about you. He's looking in your situation. He has a, a blessing uh, for you on his mind, on his heart. He is crazy about you. He won't let anything bad happen to you. Amen. You know, our help comes from the Lord. He made heaven and earth. I'm telling you. Nobody's going to get the glory out of your situation. No one is going to get the glory out of your situation because God, God is on the scene. God is in the midst. Amen. So God is not going to let our foot be moved. I'm telling you, the enemy has put stumbling blocks in front of you, but God is saying, I'm not going to let your foot be moved. You know, and God, he never sleeps. A lot of people, you know, they're up at night. They can't sleep. They have insomnia. But that spirit of insomnia breaks off of you in Jesus' name. God sent forth the fire, God, to touch in Jesus' name. That, that spirit breaks off your life right now. In Jesus' name, it breaks. You're going to believe God again. God is faithful. God is so faithful. I'm telling you, people of God, God is not going to disappoint you. If you just believe, some people need to repent for doubt and lack of faith and just surrender and put your hands up today and surrender. Say, God, I give you the cares of this world, the cares of this life, the burdens, the, the worries, the troubles, God. And God, I release this unto you, God. It is not your will, God, for me to carry this heavy load, Lord God. Because I know your word says, come to me, all you are heavy laden and burdened, and I will give you rest. That's what Jesus Christ said. Will you take... Will you take from him? Because his burden is light and his yoke is easy. Will you take from him today? And just give it to him. He never sleeps. He never slumbers. 
God is working for you even while you sleep. He is working for you even while you sleep. Amen. I want you to release it. If some people won't hear you, just lay down and just you're stressing yourself out. I'm telling you, when you carry that stress, it, it's, it, it can open up the door for the enemy to make you sick. You know, some people on here got heart palpitations. Some people on here got bad anxiety. Some people on here just not even eating, not even sleeping because you're stressed out. And God doesn't want that for you. He doesn't want that for you. Get up. And say, God, I'm sorry, God. I want to live right, God. I give you this, this, this burden, God. I, I give you the pain. Amen. So the Lord is our keeper. He's going to keep us. He's going to shield us. He's going to protect us. He's going to guide us. He's going to strengthen us. I'm here to tell you, and he's going to even strike our enemies in the realm of the spirit with blindness. In Jesus' name. Amen. He's, he's a keeper. The Lord is our shade. Come on now. Upon our right hand. Come on. I'm telling you, the Lord is literally going before us fighting our battles. I'm telling you, people of God, there is a war going on in the heavenlies for your behalf. Those prayers, that fasting, you know, it's not in vain. It is not in vain. I'm telling you, when you push back the plate and say, God, and write out your list before him and say, God, I need you to do this. He's so faithful. I'm a living witness. I do this in my own walk. I have to push back the plate sometimes. I say, God, if, you know, if I, if I fast this many days, I need you to do this. And he's so faithful. He will begin to move mightily on your behalf and turn some situations around. Amen. So just be expecting. I want you to begin to believe God and give God praise and just be expecting. So the sun should not smite us. No, the moon by day. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what the enemy is planning, what the enemy is plotting. It's not going to work in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against us will prosper. And every tongue that rises up in, in, uh, against us in judgment, God is going to condemn that thing. Amen. So you better give God praise. Amen. So the Lord is preserving us right now. He's working for us right now from all evil, from all evil. I want to let you people know that we are victorious. We got the victory. We got the victory. Amen. The Lord is going to preserve our soul. The Lord is going to preserve our soul. He's going to strengthen us. He's going to add long life unto us. I'm telling you, he's going to give us our heart's desires as we continue to delight ourselves in him. Amen. The Lord is going to preserve our going out and our coming in from this time forth, right now and forevermore. God is doing it right now. You know, I'm telling you, uh, some people in here are scared to die. The enemy is trying to torment your mind, but that spirit breaks off you in Jesus' name. You know, and telling you, oh, some bad's going to happen to you. Today. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Now the word of God said God is going to preserve our ways. He's going to preserve us. He's going to preserve us from our, all our going outs and all our coming in. Come on, somebody. From this time forth and forevermore. I don't care what the enemy is trying to do. No, God is preserving us. You know, all from, you know, everything we're doing from this day forward, you know, for our going outs. I'm telling you, in our coming in, so every time we leave our houses, you know, when we go to work every day, you know, when we go to just run little errands, like go to the grocery store or go like pay little bills or whatever like that, God is preserving us. God is keeping us. He's preserving our going out and our coming in from this time forth and forevermore. He's going to preserve us from all evil. I don't care what the enemy is talking about. He's, he's, he's bluff. He may be lying in your ear like, Something, you know, I'm going to kill you, I hate you, whatever he's saying unto you. Those lies. He's the father of all lies. There's no truth in him. But I know what the word says. The word just told us that God is going to preserve us from all evil. You know, he's going to preserve our soul. Come on, somebody. Yeah, the enemy only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I thank God that Jesus Christ came to get life and that life more abundantly. So I'm telling you, my God, the, the plans and the plots and the schemes of the enemy have been thrust, uh, have been uh, frustrated and thwarted now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So, God, I, I thank you, Lord God, that you are helping us even now, God. Because, God, we rely on you, Lord God. You know, a lot of people are in that, 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 that state. People probably walked out your life. You know, people probably talked about you, you know. And only thing you have is to rely on God. Amen. Rely on God. I know, for example, there's some single moms on here, you know, single parents. And you're just like, God, I, I, I don't have the, the extra income anymore, you know, to help me, you know, to supplement, to help 
take this burden off of me financially. But God says, okay, that, that's okay because I'm the God that provides. I'm Jehovah Jireh. I provide supernaturally. I am that God. And I know you rely on me because you rely on me. And because you got great faith, I'm going to move for you. I'm going to move for you. I'm going to take care of you. And you're going to give me all the honor, the glory, and the praise. And I'm going to show myself mightily on your behalf. And you will never again doubt me. You will never again get worried and take the bait of, of just cares of this world and finances. Because you know I'm going to come through. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come through month after month. I'm going to fulfill every promise that I have made unto you, my child. Amen. This, this, is, this, this is what God is saying. Amen. He, he's going to come through for you. He's going to come through for you. He has not forsaken you. My God. You know, I just want to prophesy and tell somebody all is well. All is well in your home. All is well in your finances. As you begin to decree and declare some things, I'm telling you, you're going to experience a shift. You're going to experience a mighty move with God. A mighty move of God. Amen. So the Lord is on our side. I don't care who is trying to come against you right now. I don't care what storm you are in right now. And it may seem like everything is coming against you. God is on your side. The Lord is on our side. He as our helper. You know, I'm telling you, I thank God. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. I thank God that he's my comforter. I thank God that he's my shield and my protector and, and my buckler and my stronghold. I thank God that he's my defender. I thank God that he's my deliverer. Come on, somebody. I thank God that he's my provider. I thank God that he's my friend. Amen. The Lord is on our side as our helper. You know, he's, he's, going, he's helping us even now. He's opened up doors for us that no man can shut. I don't care what jealous spirit that's around us who don't feel like we're qualified, who don't feel like we don't deserve the blessing. The Lord is on our side as our helper. And I'm telling you, people of God, somebody on here feel discouraged. Somebody on here feel like you don't got what it takes, but God says you can do it because I am with you. I'm on your side. I am your helper. And I have given you the vision. I didn't give them the vision. That's what God is saying. I didn't give you the vision. I, I mean, I didn't give them the vision. I gave you the vision. And I'm going to make sure this vision is going to uh, manifest manifest itself in the earth in jesus name amen so get up and obey what god has told you to do obey what god has told you to do i'm, I'm telling you as you step out and take a leap of faith you're going to be skinned to see catapult like a a movement of god catapult in your life amen like god is literally going to skyrocket some people into destiny, into purpose, because you obey God. You stepped out on faith. You didn't care what, what people thought. You didn't care. And that, that faith, that, that faith, that blind faith is so pleasing unto God. God, I'm going to believe you over what I can see. Well, over God, what I can feel in the natural, God. God, I'm going to believe you again. God, I'm going to trust you, God. I don't understand, God, how I'm going to get the resources, how I'm going to get the funds, how are you going to vindicate me, how are you going to move me, how are you going to do this? It seems impossible. Be encouraged because with men, you know, it may not work out because we can't do things in our human strength. But with God, all things are possible. So with men, you know, it may be an impossible, but, 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 but with God, all things are possible. And he says in his word, is anything too hard for me? Is anything too hard for me? So right now, you may be homeless. I prophesy God has a home for you. Right now, you may be sick. The doctors may give you a terminal report. I prophesy you're being healed right now in Jesus' name. I don't care what sickness it is. Amen. I got sick off the fire. I bind that strong man of infirmity up. Get out right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You know... People may have walked out your life and may have gave up on love. But I prophesy, God has that God-ordained spouse for you. Trust God. Believe God again. Amen. Believe God. What is God saying to you? What has God placed on your heart? Maybe God has given you a dream of a business, a new beginning, a fresh start somewhere, a new house. You don't know how this is going to happen. You don't have the funds. Maybe you got bad credit. You may be believing God for a, a vehicle. But there's no way in, in humanly possible you can do it on your own strength. You are a, a prime candidate. You are in position for God to show up in a mighty way and to bless you. Amen? God is going to show up in a mighty way to bless you. Amen? Some people believe in God to 
uh, blister business. You know, you're like, okay, God, I know you're giving me this business. I know you're giving me these ideas. But it seems like it's stagnant. Okay, just get ready for the overflow. I prophesied in your life. Get ready for the overflow. My God, get ready. Believe God. Trust God. Give your all to him. Amen. God is doing it. God is doing it even now. So behold, the Lord God, he is our helper. He is the upholder of our life. He is the upholder of our life. Amen. God is upholding you. You may feel weak right now. You may not have the strength to go on. I pray for strength to be released now upon your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be encouraged. I decree and declare that we're going to commit our ways to the Lord. Everything. We're going to do, do it God's way. And say, God, your agenda, not my agenda. And we're going to commit our ways to him. And we're going to trust in him. He's going to act. He's going to act when we trust on him. Amen. So that comes also with faith. We're going to have faith in God. No more double-mindedness. No more wavering in our faith because if we're double-minded, we're not going to receive anything from the Lord. Amen. So we're going to commit our ways to God. We're going to commit our ways to God. We're going to trust him and he's going to act on us, our behalf, in Jesus' name. He's going to act right now. So I'm going to pray. God, I pray right now that every need, God, on here is met, God. God, I pray right now that you heal every broken heart. You heal us in our emotions. You heal, God, us our physical and our physical bodies. You give financial breakthroughs, give uh, better jobs, salary in, in increases, Lord God. Restoration upon every area, God, of our lives, Lord God. That homes, Lord God, somebody is watching me. Your home's get about to be foreclosed. I, I prophesy a turnaround in that situation in Jesus' name. And, and somebody's believing God for marriage. I prophesy that God has to ordain spouse for you. And God, I thank you, Father God, for blessings and miracles to be released now in Jesus' name. And God, I thank you. Hallelujah. And God, I thank you to all of them uh, demonic enemies in the realm of the spirit. Lord, they're struck with blindness right now in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Father God, for turnaround. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Well, if this, if this, um, blessed you i want you to connect with this ministry and so a faith seed so a faith seed this ministry takes the gospel of jesus christ to south america central south america and we're also at you know the end of our contract with eternal life tv and i'm believing you know guys for sponsors amen so sponsors step out and sow a, a, a common seed sow your best seed into this ministry this is good ground and so many testimonies come forth that hey people have sold and hallelujah and people have sold and, and god blessed them tremendously amen all right so be encouraged i love you with the love of the lord and i'll see you guys next week for the next broadcast